because I mean he's kind of he's really getting in that scalp and he does a really good job and he's kind of got to wash out all those little tiny short hairs and if you don't wash them out then you're itchy for the rest of the day I don't know I feel like he deserves a little bit extra for that it goes straight into the recipient's bank account in minutes between enrolled users you can use it for all kinds of stuff not just to pay your barber for putting up with you you can send some money to your friend for his birthday because you forgot it so if you're listening Brian sorry buy yourself something nice the best part about Zelle is you probably already have it since it's in over a thousand banking apps so look for Zelle in your banking app today. Your morning starts now. It's the Q102 Jeff and Jen podcast brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Arnold is looking for a second date update with a lady named Gail. Hey, Arnold. Hey, how's it going, guys? Going good. Going good. Wonderful. I guess uh, let's start from the beginning. Why don't you tell us how you met Gail and how that first date went? For sure. Well, you know, first of all, it sounds like I'm on this uh, Jerry Springer episode or something like what? that, man. <laughs> <laughs> you think Second Date Update is like a Jerry Springer episode? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, I've been listening. First of all, I've been listening to you guys for lots of years, and I never thought I'd be calling for one of these things. Everybody says you that, think? though. They mm-hmm. come on Second Date Update. They're like, I love listening to your show, man, but boy, I never thought I'd be on Second Date Update. And here I am. Here I am, man. Here I am. Desperate times. Correct, correct. So here's what the deal is. Um, I got divorced about three years ago. Okay. I got married really young, around 21. It lasts only a couple years, and once it ended, I was in no rush to get back into another relationship, if you understand what I'm saying. Right. So I've been, you know, meeting some women, nothing long, nothing serious. Mm -hmm. But then this COVID hit. So now I'm starting to realize maybe I really need to have somebody around getting kind of lonely. So uh, I hopped on the dating scene, going out for with a few women, and one I really liked. Okay. You know, it's almost like, you know, how women have a thing for um, firemen. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Hot. Yep, there you go. Well, I have a thing for nurses. Okay. Mm. Sexy career. <laughs> So. And the Crocs, you know? <laughs> hey, if, if, if a woman wears a Croc, well, you know? Well, it's the nurturing thing, too, like feeling like someone can take care of you. And they're frontline workers, so there's the hero aspect of it, too, that's sexy. Absolutely, and I kept all that, you know, in mind. But the thing about it is she's not on the front line, per se. She actually works at the pediatrician's office. So, so that's sweet, taking care of kids. I would argue that's working on the front lines in a way. Taking care of the kids. Mm-hmm. Got to love the kids, man. So uh, she's smart, very compassionate, kind, big heart. So we went out to dinner, sat outside on the patio, talked, kicked it. Everything was great. Laughed a lot. Had a really good time. So after a couple hours, I walked her to her car. We hugged, and that was it. And she said, hey, you know, give me a text. I shot her a text. I did it twice, actually. No response. I even called her once. And nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, here I am. Right. Take a minute. Need some help. Okay, so. So, I'm hoping you can reach out to her and see, you know. Yeah, for sure. Just a little more background, though. Like, let's go back to the hug. Because when you said you, you had this great date. And yeah. you're just chilling back at dinner on the patio, and you said there was a lot of laughter, so you seem to really be connecting. Was the, Did the hug feel different than the rest of the date? Man, it was seamless. Okay. It was seamless, I thought. You know, right. it was no hiccup. But, but I guess what I'm asking, like, it wasn't anticlimactic for you that it just ended in a hug. Oh, no. No, okay. I was cool with it, especially for the first date. You know, I'm, hey, you gotcha. know, it's, it's all good. I'm just expecting another date, then from there on, we, we'll see what happens. And but. she did say, text me. That's what she said. Mm. See, I like, I, like, I do and don't like the text me portion of this because by saying text me means like it's great to have some future interaction, but also text me is like super easy to blow off. I don't want to talk to you again. Right. You I'm know what I mean? You. I'm feeling you. I'm, yeah. I'm right with you on that one. I, right. I'm not a big texter anyway. Right. But I'm guilty of being like, oh, yeah, just text me. And then no response. Right. Mm-hmm. I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> okay. Anything else we need to know? Were there any awkward, weird moments that you can recall? Not too much. Um, she asked me, of course, what I did, you know, and I told her, you know, um, I'm in the entertainment field. 
um, mm. things of that nature. But other than that, um, I told her right, my mother is staying with me. Uh, I'm staying. My mother's staying with me. I cleared that up. My mother's staying with me. I'm not with my mother. It's a difference. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And she understood that and thought that was nice. Again, caretaker, right? So she she loved that. Okay. And um, it was it was great. It was no other oddness about the whole date. Right. Well, then uh, let's take a break, Arnold. We're gonna we're gonna get the phone number from you so we can call Gail. Let's see what she really thought of you and her date with you, and if there's any chance of you guys getting together again. Hey, I appreciate it. All right, coming up next, Jeff and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102. All right, Arnold met Gail on a dating app during COVID, and uh, Arnold's got a thing for nurses, and she is a nurse. He just loves the profession. You know, frontline workers, you get the hero aspect of it, and he just finds the nurturing instinct that comes with that line of work to be incredibly sexy. And uh, Gail possesses all of those qualities. So they went out, seemed to have a great dinner, lots of laughter, and then um, that was it. Date ended in a hug. She said, text me. He did. Even called her, and nothing, no response. And Arnold is confused because he really felt like these two were meshing, you know? Connecting. Seamless. It was seamless. He said it was seamless. That's how a lot of these second date updates go. You know, on the surface, it seems great, but then we find out there's some underlying issue. And I'm not saying that's what's happening here. She could just be busy. She works at a pediatrician's office. So back to school, you know, people got to get shot, records updated and whatnot. Maybe she's just stressed out from work or something so unless there's anything else that you thought of arnold that you think we need to know going into this phone call now's the time i mean my mind i've thought about this countless of times even before i decided to call you because again this is awkward for me this is the first time i'm not i'm not that type of guy i know you know because the station but right between a rock and a hard place right here we are yeah we appreciate you putting yourself out there so let's make the call you ready let's do it Hello. Hi, can we speak to Gail, please? She's speaking. Who's, who's calling? Who's hi, this? hi, Gail. Yeah, you're on speakerphone. It's Jeff, Jen, Fritch, and Tim at Q102. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> hey. Hi. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Are you a fan of the show? You ever listen? I'm a fan. <laughs> Very nice. Well, thank hi. you for listening. I would imagine if you're a fan of the show, you have a pretty good idea why we might be calling you. Oh God! <laughs> Have you been bad? I know, I know that I know the spiel. And you know who it's about? Arnold. Yep. Because I—that's the only person I've been avoiding. So not blowing off or just been busy. You are avoiding. I am actively avoiding Arnold. Now this would come as a surprise to him because he said you guys had a great date and there was a lot of laughter and you seem to get along. You what, know what? what? He's clueless, and the laughter that was there was nervous laughter. Oh, nervous. The entire date, I was uncomfortable. Uh Uh-oh. What were you uncomfortable with? He has a thing for nurses. I don't mean hero nurse, oh, you you help people. No, he has a thing for nurses. More like a fetish? He wouldn't stop making comments about how hot it was that I'm a nurse. Oh, okay, because he did express, like, he said, you know, like how some women have a thing for firemen, I have a thing for nurses. My firemen are only on a calendar that I'm hot for, okay? So was there anything in particular, like he was saying or doing, that was making you uncomfortable? Over the line? Yeah, he kept asking questions like, do they still make those short white dress uniforms for nurses? I'm like... I work in the pediatrician's office. What does he think this is? Halloween? Yeah, like it's not okay. naughty nurse attire like you get on Halloween. I, I, exactly. For sure. Gotcha. Exactly. And do I ever bring my job home? And do I want to participate in some role play? Ah. Yeah. So you understand when he wants to talk about laughter, for me, it was nervous laughter. And I'm going to be honest with you. I thought I was being punked. Okay. He, he's like, I'm always up for a sponge bath. I have sponge because my mom lives with me. What? Crap like Dude. that. Yeah. It was weird. I mean, in the beginning, I mean, he's a nice looking guy, and I thought, okay, you know. But then I was like, come on, please, enough. I just needed the night to be over. 
Yeah. Okay. So it didn't feel playful and silly and fun. It felt creepy. It was creepy. He has a Halloween fetish, you know, stockings, high heels. Okay. Maybe if I were 20 or 19, that would have been cute. But I'm a nurse. I've gone to school. I'm a professional. Right. So, no. Arnold, did it occur to you how you might be coming across to Gail? It's mind-blowing to me. You didn't say anything. This is all new to me. Nothing happened the way she just described it. Absolutely not. You... <laughs> Absolutely I'm sorry. Not. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you dig yourself. Go ahead. So you're saying you did not say those things like about you know the sexy outfit and do you ever bring what? your work home and sponge baths and all that? No, man. Listen, I just told you my mother lives with me. I'm not my mama's boy. I, I mean, I wouldn't even say nothing like that to women. I, it's just not my style. But why, why do you think Gail would off. say that you said those things? Yeah. I have no clue. I mean, she's right there. Why would you say that, Gail? Okay, you said all of that to me and more. When you walked me to my car, you were asking right. me if I had any stethoscope, a thermometer, <laughs> like a thermometer. Like tools. What am I going to do with the, in my car? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it, it, I it, asked you that. I was just looking in my car. That's all. I just um, wanted to know if you had the stuff in the back. I mean, it was nothing you more know, than that. I happen to have my uniform. Do you know what? We wear pants now. We wear pants. Correct. So this even white uniform thing, for a guy his age, I don't get where he got that from. Oh. It, it was a hot mess. I'm sorry. I mean, I this was, <laughs> this is not a, I, I don't want you all it. to think this This is a, you know, hashtag Me Too movement. Like, this is not it at all. Uh, I mean, she's okay, just making well, all this you, stuff up. Do you have an evil twin? Uh, Arnold, do you have an evil twin? Uh, absolutely not. I'm only child. Okay. Like I said, I'm yeah, a mama's boy. Um, that, that, like I, said, I admit it. I'm, I'm but that's it. It's only me. I am looking for someone. I don't mind going out with someone who respects and loves nurses, but not has a fetish with nurses. Gotcha. So I'm a hard pass. Yeah. Hard pass. That's a no. We just got to be yeah. careful these days. Arnold, you know, we're living in a... Me Too world, where some of the the things that you think are flirty, making women very uncomfortable. We got to get really good at picking up on those cues. With their compliments. I know that you think they are, but... Next time you you date someone that works in a pediatrician's office, ask about the aquarium in the lobby or the (laughs) old highlights magazines or the hardcover Bible storybooks. Yes. Gail, we appreciate you listening to our show and coming on Second Date Update and Guys, I sharing the truth. You, but, um, I hope I never get another call from you because I'm. Oh, we'll try not to take it personally. <laughs> I know, and I'm so sorry you had such an uncomfortable experience. I'll invite you to the wedding if I ever find the right guy. Okay, <laughs> please do. Sounds hey. good. Text us. <laughs> there you go. Yep. If you need our help. The second date update. Send us an email, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Angie's list is now Angie, A N G I, and caring for your home just got easier. Whether you need help with routine maintenance or a dream remodel, Angie makes it easy to see reviews, compare quotes, and connect with top local pros who can get the job done right. Plus, you could see upfront pricing and instantly book hundreds of projects. No phone tag, just the work you need done at a time that works for you. Angie's got your to-do list covered from start to finish. Book your next home project today at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com.